Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week's overview. During this week, we are going to be starting talking about the biology part of our general science course. We are going to start talking about the nature of matter. Our learning objectives for this lesson identify the three subatomic particles that make up atoms, explain how all isotopes of an element are similar and how they are different. Explain how compounds differ from their component elements. Describe the two main types of chemical bonds. Technically, we can see the learning objectives. Those are similar to what we already took in the first semester once we were talking about the chemistry part of atoms, elements, and chemical bonds. We have the atoms. The subatomic particles that make up atoms are protons, neutrons, and electrons. As you can see here, protons being positively charged, neutron meaning that they do not have a charge, and electrons are negatively charged particles. Okay, so here we have the protons, here we have the electrons, and here we have the neutrons. Then we have elements. An element is a pure substance that consists entirely of one type of atom. Here we have the atomic number. And if you guys recall, the atomic number means the number of electrons, which equals to the number of protons. So if I'm going to count how many electrons I have here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And how many protons do I have as well? One, two, three, four, five, six. So technically, the atomic number is what? Is six. Then moving to the another concept, which is the isotopes. Because they have the same number of electrons, all isotopes of an element have the same chemical properties. Taking into consideration the carbon, carbon 12, 13, and 14. 12 and 13 being non-radioactive. So, the number of protons for carbon 12 and carbon 13 and carbon 14 are the same. Also, the number of electrons for 12, 13, and 14 are the same as well. Then we have the number of neutrons. So, neutrons is going to vary between each type of or isotope of carbon. So, 12, 13, and 14, starting with a 6 and increasing 7 and 8. Chemical compound. A chemical compound is a substance formed by the chemical combination of two or more elements in definite proportions. The physical and chemical properties of a compound are usually very different from those of the elements from which it is formed. We are going to talk about this and much more during this week. 